Welcome to the American Rambler with your host, Paul Grafton. Okay, as I said before, I didn't post because I got suspended from Facebook because um, making food-related jokes. Uh, AIs don't seem to have a sense of humor and can't place things in context. And I'm not going to take a chance of repeating those uh, same jokes here on YouTube because of their own AI. Uh, now, lately there has been a discussion about hate towards the manosphere, MRAs, feminism, you know, even the once called thought out uh, allies, uh, female allies are uh, criticizing us. I think they're criticizing us because uh, they realize they cannot get what they want uh, from MRI, MRAs, MGTOW, incels, or just general unmanipulated men. Okay, so what I want to first talk about is my experience with MGTOW. Now, uh, I think one of the big problems that these people, these women, don't understand it's really not hatred towards women or feminism, but the fact of the matter is that uh, there are more people joining every day. Uh, just by joining a group of uh, MGTOW, I noticed how the increase of the membership uh, was and how fast it increased. So I used a statistic, uh, a computational website called Wolfram Alpha. So it seems like women, on average, make 800 new MGTOW per day. Now, not all those MGTOWs are going to uh, be joining the groups. They just might be figuring things out. They might just be peaceful or some of them might be experiencing a rage. Try and understand the different stages of grief because maybe they're not grieving the loss of relationship, but they're grieving a lost part of their life to where they have been lied to. I, you know, I, I had this meme that says, there are four things uh, that my parents told me uh, that were fairy tales. Uh, the Tooth Fairy, Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, and women are virtuous. These men are in the second uh, stages of grief, anger. You know, at first, denial, you know, these are the ones, you know, and I also think these are where a lot of these women that are complaining about the mass fears, the MGTOW, uh, unmanipulated men, everything is coming from. The women are still in the first stage of grief because now they realize these men that they wish to pursue are no longer making themselves available to be pursued. So now they are in denial. Now, while I was in those uh, MGTOW groups, I only left like, um, I left a lot of them, I'm, like I said, I'm married, I have no problem with my wife, I love her dearly, but for one thing, she's older and she's not an American and she's not involved uh, with the feminist movement. Like I said, I like intelligent women. But what these uh, people like Daisy Cousins, uh, the Tommy Lawrence, and all the other ones, Sydney Watson, are not realizing is what their literal involvement really is in the manosphere. Okay? What is happening is 800 new people are coming in. So you're always going to have that flow of anger. Okay? All the Manosphere is doing 
is flowing, is collecting those men and trying to move them forward uh, past bargaining, past depression, and into acceptance. That's where the MGTOW uh, men come from, or the unmanipulated men. They accept that the women are going to do whatever the women want to do without consequences. And one of the problems here that we are finding is that the uh, it, the less accountable the women is, the more brazen they are going to be held to. Okay, you know, I I posted on Facebook a uh, picture of the Pearl Ro River police not doing anything when she assaults a man, or there's a woman that was videotaping her sexually assaulting a man. Owen Troyer's uh, sexual assault only got one day. And then I also did one uh, about Dinah Dash and the incel where this woman was teasing guys with sex, having them deliver food and then slamming the door on their face. Uh, I am going to say right then and there that woman, girl, teenager, she's 19, is asking for trouble. I'm not saying anybody should do anything to her, but the reality is there might be a man one day that will. You know, one of the things I hear about the honey badger saying, oh, I measured X, but uh, X is harder. Did you measure Y? No. So try in uh, searching about uh, Nora Vincent, who lived her life as a man for one year. She said uh, she would never want to go back. Uh, or what about Blair White? Uh, she said that uh, her life got so much better when she became a woman. The fact of the matter is these women, like Sidney Watson, have never, ever spent one day in a man's shoes. They were only there to use them, saying, oh, I'm against feminism. Well, guess what? A lot of women are against feminism, too. A lot of women are for feminism. But the reality is they will still use feminism to advance their cause whether to step on it or to stand upon it. Neither one is going to help or heal with the relationships between men and women. One of the things I urge men to do, find a job that you can do online, go to school online, uh, and then move out of the country. You know, get your woman in a place that you'd like. Okay? Hey, I hear there's uh, meat is very expensive here. Over here, for my steak dinners, out, dining out is about $2. So, get out while you can. Do not give the resources to an incompetent, inept, and corrupt government. Okay, this has been Paul Grafton with the American Rambler.